سابقا تعلمنا how to make words definite with adding ال في بداية الكلمة so if we want to make سيارة definite I will add ال في بداية الكلمة سيارة it will be السيارة and any word for example if I want to say baby we say البيبي car الكار book door anything I want to make it definite in Arabic I will just put ال في بداية الكلمة and if I want to make it indefinite I will remove L and تعلمنا also about تا مربوطة which comes في نهاية الكلمة okay ثلاثة اثنان واحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مرحبا جميعا أنا عز الدين and this is learn Arabic with Z كيف حالكم did you say مرحبا did you reply when I ask you كيف حالكم well Always when I ask you كيف حالكم you will just reply and you will not ask me about myself. Ah, okay, we don't know how to say it. Okay, now today we will learn how to say it. If someone asked you first كيف حالكم, you will answer and you want to ask him about himself. You can just say wa anta, wa anta, wa. We already know wa means and, anta means you, wa anta it means and you. In Arabic we can use what about you, but the common one is wa anta and you. So from now, when I ask you كيف حالكم, you will answer أنا بخير with your voice, not in your mind, and you will ask me وأنت. And what will I say when you ask me وأنت? Yes, I will tell you أنا بخير. أنا بخير. اليوم we will learn about a new sign. We put it above الكلمة or the word. Do you remember the حركات فتحة ضمة كسرة? Sometimes you will find this sign on the top of some words. Now, what is this sign? Let's have a look. Okay, so it is sukun plus fatha dhamma kasra. So we will have the letter twice in sawt, but we will write it only once. And we will put this sign on the top. We call it shadda. So it will be double letter or double sawt, double sound. We will pronounce it twice. Once with sukun and once with one of the harakat. Now, let's take these examples. We have this sign. We call it shadda or double sawt. It will be above الكلمة or the word الكلمة first one is معلم معلم as you can notice I stress on لا or on لي I pronounce it double معلم 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 one لي with سكون and the other لي with كسرة next one is سبورة سبورة I also stress on بو سبو because I have سب then بورا so I have double of با one is with سكون and one is with بو ضمة no no the picture didn't come again mistakenly it is the same we have two things in front of us one of them is معلم one of them is سبورا try to guess it now next we have دراجة دراجة we have در then راجة first را with سكون Second one is with فتحة دراجة I stress on را or I double pronounce it دراجة Last example we have قط قط We have قط with سكون then ط with ضمة قط So we pronounce it twice because actually it is معل then لم معل لم Next is سبورة سبورة Next is در راجة در راجة Next we have قط قط This is the reason we have the double sound or the stress sound on the letter So in Arabic instead of writing the word معلم in معل then لم with two لا we write it together معلم only we stress on the صوت when we pronounce it and we put this sign on the top of الكلمة the word Instead of writing sabura, we merge the two letters. It will be sabura. Instead of writing the raja with tura, one with sukun and one with fatha, we merge them and we put this shadda on top of the letter, which we stress on it. Instead of writing qitu, we merge the two ta, one with sukun and one with haraka. We pronounce it qitu together. So when we find this sign above a letter, we will pronounce the sound twice. Or we will stress on the sound of this letter.
And that's all for today. Looking forward to see you in the next video. See you soon. إلى اللقاء.